Are you getting the most out of your measuring tape? I'm going to show you 10 things that you may have never known about your tape measure. Let's get started. 1. The curve. Have you ever wondered why the blade of your tape measure is curved? It's there so while you extend it over long distances it holds its shape. Also, if you snap or bend the blade of the tape, it can snap back into place and remain rigid. 2. The black numbers. There may be a color change or graphical identifier at every 12 or 24 inch intervals. This is to help the placement of studs every 24 inches if your building code allows it. 3. The red numbers. Many tape measures add red numbers or some other graphical standout every 16 inches. This is a very common spacing for studs in framing a house. This spacing allows for six supports in an eight foot span. This spacing also includes the ability to add an 8-foot sheet long piece of plywood without cutting it. 4. The Black Diamonds The black diamonds, which appear every 19 and 3 16 on a tape measure, are for spacing I-beams. These are also known as timbers. Several wood product manufacturers offer I-beams, or timbers, as a substitute for solid lumber floor joists. The diamond marks on the tape measure blade are for spacing these engineered floor joists in new construction. Because these beams can support more weight than their dimensional lumber counterparts, they often have different spacing requirements. 5. The Nail Grab The nail grab is on nearly every measuring tape. You'll find a small slot at the end of the hook. This is there to grab onto the end of a nail or a screw. This way, if you're measuring a flat surface and you don't have anyone to hold the other end of the tape, all you need is a hammer and a nail or a screw. Six, the top hook. At the end of the tape measure is designed a hook to go into any direction. The odd shaped hook provides more opportunities to hook onto different surfaces or angles. Seven, the scribing tool. Did you ever notice that at the bottom or at the end of your measuring tape, there's sometimes a serrated edge? There's a good reason for that. If you're measuring something and you don't have a marking tool handy like a pencil or a pen, you can always use the serrated or the sharp edge to make a marking by running it back and forth on whatever you're measuring. Eight, the adjustable end. The adjustable end is there for a reason. It's often called true zero. See, the metal tip at the end of your measuring tape is a little bit loose for a reason. The first inch of the tape measure is short by 1 16th of an inch. This isn't an error. It's meant to provide you with an accurate reading whether you're measuring inside or outside of a surface. This is known as true zero. The metal tip is exactly 1 16th of an inch thick. If you're measuring the outside of a surface and hook your metal end on the edge, that metal piece will shift out and create a gap so that you aren't counting it in your measurement. And if you need to measure the inside of a surface, like a window frame, you want to count on the thickness of the metal piece in your calculations. Thus, the metal piece will shift back in to fill the gap. Always take care to push and pull your tape so that it's taut to take advantage of the true zero feature. Nine. The magnetic end. Most all new tape measures have a rare earth magnet at the end of the tape measure. This is useful for many situations like picking up a screwdriver or wrench. It also helps hold the tape measure into place to provide accurate readings. 10. The tape housing. Very few people realize that your tape measure housing has a width printed on the back and there's a reason for that. This is very helpful when measuring the inside of a window or an area where you may be confined. All you need to do is add the width to the number of the measurement and you have an accurate measurement with half the hassle. Now you're a tape measure expert and the secrets have been revealed. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I also provided a link to the tape measure that I used in this video in the description below. All right, well, if you have any questions or anything like that, just post them in the comments below and I'll catch you next time. I'll see you later.